Hello guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we stimulated the login feature of user using either username or email. But if you look at the spec, we have almost the same specs here. Okay, so here you can see that this is the spec for uh, stimulating the user login with username. So you can see that what we are doing here, we are creating a user and then we are visiting the root path and then we are filling the user form, login form with user dot username and user dot password. Okay, and the same thing in the another it block that is user should log in with user uh, user should log in with email okay so here you can see that in both the specs we have only this line in different okay and rest of the code or rest of the spec is same okay exactly same okay so what we will do that we will refactor this spec okay why because this is working fine but this makes no sense uh, to have the common code anywhere in the project okay so we need to refactor this and to refactor this we will use the shared examples method provided by our spec so what is shared method a shared examples method so in our spec shared examples are a way to define reusable examples that can be shared among different specs and share examples allow you to extract common behavior into a separate definition and include it in multiple spec files as well okay and this promotes code reusability and reduce duplication in your test suite okay shared examples are defined using the shared examples method which is provided by our spec and they can be included in the spec files using the include examples or it behaves like methods okay so let's start refactoring the spec using shared examples method okay so what you need to do that just keep both the specs for now and here here after the before the describe block what we need to do we need to invoke the shared examples method shared examples okay and then we need to provide a name to it that is let's say a successful login successful login okay and then we need to convert this into a block okay and here we need to define our attribute name that is login field and then end this block okay and here i will use the login field as the argument which will represent username or email so whenever we call this shared example method we will pass username or email as login field okay and now what we need to do that we need to define an it block within this shared example so it and here add uh, make sure to use the double quotes now okay so should login user with and then we need to interpolate this login field value login field okay so when you provide the login field value as email then it will consider it it should log in user with email and if you provide it username then it should log in user with username okay and then hit the do here and end it now we need to create a user so you can copy the user create query from existing code so what you can do you can simply copy this one and not this one you can copy the entire code here okay so just copy this and paste it into the it block of the shared examples okay and here you can see that what we are doing here we are just using uh, we are just creating the user dot create and then fill in login with user dot username user password user dot password and rest of the things that we are checking as the same okay now here we need to make one change here you can see that what we are doing that we are filling in user login as user dot username okay but now since we are providing the dynamic value so we need to use the send method here okay so let's use user dot send and then you need to provide login field okay so here you can see that we used the send method and the send method is used to dynamically call the appropriate login field method whether it is username or email based on the parameter passed to the shared example okay now save the shared example and now we need to remove both the existing specs so you can uh, just minimize both it blocks within the describe block and now you can remove these specs okay and now we need to call this shared examples method using include examples okay so what we can do here include examples and then a successful login okay and then we need to provide username 
okay and then you, we need to call the same example with email okay so here you can see what we did here we including we are including the shared example using the include examples method okay so here we can reuse the common login behavior with different login fields and this refactoring helps eliminating code duplication and ensures consistency in the testing the login functionality for both username and email field now here you can see what we did include examples so this will call this shared example just because of this name you provided here successful login okay and then this is the argument which is considered as the login field within the shared example so we provided username and here you can see this is the login field and then we are providing this email okay so now uh, when the uh, is a shared example will be called with the email attribute then the email will be considered as the login field okay and this send method will use uh, user dot username or user dot uh, email okay now save the file and run the spec so just to make sure to save the file and go to the terminal and here what we need to do first to clear it let's say clear the console and run bundle exec sorry yeah bundle exec r spec spec feature login spec okay and when you run this spec you will see that uh, it is opening the browser and now you can see that uh, two examples zero failure that means our refactoring is working now so we converted both the specs within the shared examples and then we are calling the shared examples using the include examples okay so now this is much better approach okay so whenever you have to uh, refactor your specs which are performing the common behavior testing the common behaviors then you can use shared examples and then include the shared examples using the include examples method of the r spec okay and this is a much better approach to write your feature specs okay and that's all from this lecture now in the next lecture we will work on another feature spec that is we will allow users to get sign in into the system and then they can search for user uh, according to their countries or city okay meanwhile try this lecture at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe